What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Dan Banks, aka DJ Fine Seal, JT, We Are Jersey Magazine, and Jersey Diamonds, and me and my boy, YP DMV. What's good, bro? Get ready to go. YP DMV coming from New York. He from all over the place. We don't know where he's from. <laughs> he from DMV, Miami, you name it, he from there. You know, but he out here busting out moves. He got his new track out called Ten Toes Down to Drop April 2020. He got so many more things coming out, but that's what we push right now. So make sure you go check it out. It's on all streaming platforms. So my boy, Black P. What's going on, yeah, brother? Yeah. This is first time in Jersey, he said. First I'm time. Like, what? First time I used to look at it from across the water. Like, it looks so beautiful over there. <laughs> you know, I would like to know what it's like. You know what I'm saying? So now he got to meet we at Jersey. So, you know, what a way to introduce him to Jersey. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. my brother, you've been working, you know, working hard, man. Out here. It's wild. I'm trying. I have to, bro. It's a, it's a dream of mine. So, I just take it one day at a time. but. Yeah, I've been working. I've been working. You know, it's nice. Now, real quick, I want to talk about Ten Toes Down. Now, you you putting on for like your peoples, you putting on for yourself. You telling everybody, look, look, I stand Ten Toes Down. We are gonna make this happen. I'm I'm staying true to myself, but I'm also putting on for my city, putting on for my people. You know that I love and that I care about. Now, tell me about the concept behind Ten Toes Down for you. Like, what was the meaning behind it for you? Like, so that's my perception of it. But what was your perception of it when you was putting on? To I'm ten not gonna toes lie, down? like. That 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 came after ten toe day on because I want it's a part in there I said I hold my bros down yeah um right now my my sad to say my brother is incarcerated so I I told him before he went I'm like bro I'm gonna hold you down no matter what so that that clicked in my head so I was like. I gotta stay ten toes down, no matter what, until everybody come up, and I'm bringing everybody up with me. So that's why I got the concept. Really, it came from that that's the dope. struggle. Yeah, right. And like, and like you said, going through the struggle and, and like said, staying ten toes down. What is something that you would say has continued to inspire you to keep pursuing this path? Like you said, it wasn't always like music all the time. It was like sometimes you had to. You had to go out there and go experience things, and then it brought you back to the music, and then maybe you had to go experience more things, and it brought you right back. So it's always brought you back to the music, because obviously it's, it's being shown that music is an outlet for you to express yourself and just to, just to put on for everybody. So what's kept you kind of consistent on going back to the music? I, I can't get away from it. <laughs> I can't yeah. get away. I can't get away. Um, in a way, it's an addiction, too, because I could draw, too. I ain't gonna lie, one time in my life, too, <laughs> I, 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 like, I could really draw. So, in my time in my life, I told myself, what can I do forever that I can love? I could draw, but it gets boring to me sometimes. Yeah. But music, I could, I would write, I would rap about a concept that's happening just because I just in the mood. I'm always in the mood for it. Yeah. Always in the mood. You could ask my wife, I'd be in four in the morning writing something. Before I came over here, I was writing something yeah. dead serious. Like it's constantly going, so I can't, I can't escape it. Yeah, and that, and that's like true passion right there when it comes to the music industry. Like the fact that you can't escape it, why well, run for it? Just keep pushing it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. And we were obviously talking earlier. You know, chopping it up, laughing. This guy's hilarious. This like <laughs> guy's absolutely hilarious. And he had, he likes to push out a lot of singles right now. But ten toes right now is what we push it. But tell me why it's so important for you to stick to the current track and why you want to push ten toes instead of like putting out a whole project. Oh, um, because everybody don't know ten toes. They got I gotta get the masses to hear it. It's like sparking a, a fire. You spark that little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make a forest fire. I'm trying to blaze the whole forest on fire. So. It's just sparking, so I'm just trying to spark it into big enough to everybody. It's ten toes down. I like that. Yeah. And now, actually, having a unique style of um, being from state to state, like I said, he from all over. You know what I'm all over. Would you, you say, catch me there. <laughs> would you say that your music style is, um, in a way, kind of, I want to say, modern in the sense of every state that you've gone through? probably have picked up a little bit of each genre and that. then now you kind of put it to your side so like what would you say like the uniqueness is about your music that will stand out with the fact that you have a background history in so many other states that have different sounds different music like you almost have a lot of experience with just hearing like so many different sounds like how do you apply that to your music um because like you said i've been so many places and i i have taste and seen so many things i just it just blends with it. And, and I've been here so long, I'm just like, 
like even somebody said to me, I've like been here almost 10 years. It was like, you're a Yankee now. <laughs> I've been here so long. Yeah. So I didn't caught on to the culture so much that I am the culture. So I put it in my music. I, I never been like still with something. I never been like a trapper rapper or a hardcore rapper or even a conscience. But I like to talk about all those things. So I just like to expand my horizon. I would, you might see it hit me on a country song. Yeah. Never know, right? Now, obviously, I've been talking to artists about this because, like I said, we're going through a pandemic and everything, and all the things that are going on in the world. So, every artist that's been coming in lately, I've been asking them, how has this, um, in a sense, affected you musically wise? Like, what's been keeping you motivated to continue to push, even though obviously this is the time frame where we'd be doing shows, uh, we would be going out pushing our music a different way, we would be probably collaborating with everybody that we can collaborate. But at a time like this, um, you're being diligent, like you said, you're pushing this one track and it's, it's doing numbers, definitely doing it's numbers. Going you know up. what I'm saying? So like what for you during this time period, what has been like the most the most valuable thing that you have probably took away from it? I'm not gonna lie, if this was back in the day, that. We've been suffering, <laughs> but yeah. now that it's streaming and all that, you could get the people to know you from their house. So it's like, bro, I'm not gonna lie. It's I'm, I'm giving the little cheat code, but yo, right now, this is the time to push yourself. This is the time because everybody is in their house looking on their phone. What do you? What is everybody doing? They're on their phone. So what you could put in front of them, you. So that's what I'm presenting myself. I'm gonna push myself until you know me. So when this pandemic over, over, I'm gonna be a household name. I like that. I'm be in your kitchen. <laughs> I'm in your living room. On your couch, eating the popcorn. <laughs> and obviously the uniqueness of this guy, he has singles on the way. We're not gonna tell y'all too much, but he gonna switch it up on y'all. But like, so not to give it away too much, but when we thinking of that possible single coming out? Just so we can just stay tuned. We're not gonna tell y'all too much. But I'm what, on, what are we um, uh, switching it up on y'all. I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give it like a little uh, three, maybe maybe four months. I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm trying to sit on it. I'm really trying to. I'm really trying to work the nooks and crannies. Do you find yourself to be like a perfectionist when it comes to your music? Oh, oh my gosh! How long does it take you to usually put something out? The thing about it, you will make a song and then the next day the whole song will change. <laughs> it will all change. So yeah, you constantly work now. On even when you get to the studio, you might change up something right there. Cause it's just that that's how it, just being an artist is. But yeah, I'm on I'm on just I'm just sitting on it. I'm gonna sit on it. I like that. Sit on it. And like I said, you know, you can follow why P D and be on all streaming platforms. Make sure you go check out Ten Toes Down, my brother. Tell me they can book you and follow you. You can see me YP DMV on every platform, YP underscore DMV, that's um, Instagram. You can catch me on YouTube, got two videos, well, three videos, because I just dropped 10 toes down. So go check that out, wow. fire. It's definitely a vibe. But yeah, catch me on everything. You heard it first one. We are Jersey Magazine, YP DMV is in the building. Sign up. Peace. My brother. Jersey turned out entertainment. Entertainment.